Zuko932, and I'm coming in from my own home to give you a video on how to make Icarus from Heaven's Lost Property. For those of you who know, Icarus is one of the main characters in Heaven's Lost Property who comes down crashing to Earth and, automa and automatically becomes a master to the true main character of this enti of that entire series, Tomoki. So here's how you see. So here's how you make Icarus. The type of hair that you would use to make Icarus would be jagged layers, but you'll have to alter that, of course. The type of voice that I use for Icarus would be reliable leader. Pitch up to 10. No tone, no mouth, mouth, mouth gestation level. And eyebrows 19, of course. Height 3, normal. And you already know that that has to be all the way up, of course. So the uh, equipment I use will be the hunter suit. But you have to alter the coloring to black and white. I'll show you which ones have to be black and which ones have to be white as this video goes along. Also would be the flared mini skirt. And the angel wings. Those, also, those have to be unlocked as you continue playing through Soul Calibur 5. But those are a, pre are a pretty nice touch when creating Icarus. The sleeves I used were elegant sleeves. Those you have to get from DLC, all, also known as the, uh, the Soul Calibur V second compatibility pack with Natsu, Leisha, and the rest of their, uh, the rest of their second, secondary costumes. And for her feet, I use the Silver's Night Greaves, where I'm not really sure if you have to unlock those or if it just comes to the game automatically, but yeah, those are pretty good as well. And for her, since she doesn't have normal human ears and she's an angeloid, she has these, she has these things called cones. Put, put one in each ear with the, with these uh, with these measurements in mind. Obviously, it's gonna, the the roles are going to be reversed for some of them to make it to make it complete. Make sure make sure you have these measurements on both of them and of course as you can see for the second one the rules are reversed with some of them now of course the person that I used for the weapon for the base thought for the weapon base would be Elysium since she really doesn't have a type of weapon. She use, so this would be perfect for her because, well, she can use every female's weapon that comes that comes to her. Uh, so colors and patterns. The hair, of course, is going to be pink. This would be. The, the the color palette for for have, for getting that kind of hair and her eyes are a blue a blue green color those are the measurements for for her eyes now for her costume these are the, these are the colors for her, these are the colors for her costume of course white black and white and those are the measurements.
and of course some of, some of, some of her costume is altered like the like with the flared miniskirt of course the flared miniskirt is white but as you can see with with everything else I'll get I'll come back to that in a little bit after I explain the rest of the basic basic colors of the costume angel wings you don't really see her wings all that much so it's a lightish pink like the lightest pink you can actually come up with and of course the arm sleeves are white black black and white of course Her greaves are, well, her shoes are pretty much the same as well. And of course, for the, for her, for her ears as well. Now for the flared mini skirt, what I used is motif number three. And I used the color, well, I used the color black, of course, because that would be the most symmetrical out of all of them and these are where they have to be for the measurements for that that black line that's on the edge of her on the bottom of her skirt I hope this video I hope this video was helpful to a lot of people and I hope I hope you make Icarus as awesome as you can think of. So I will be coming I will be I will be coming to you more with videos on how to create certain characters like Sora or Riku or Roxas or even Natsu from Fairy Tale. So until then, thanks guys. I'll see you later.